is Tamara Henry with Positive Impact Magazine here at Rouge de Mont in New York City for We Are All Connected. Copali Organics, the Feed 30 Project, Maria Rodale, we're talking about organic, fair trade, and buying localized food tonight. <laughs> I'm Maria Rodale from Rodale Inc. We're catching up with Maria Rodale, the CEO and Chairman of Rodale Inc. And she's come out tonight to this beautiful evening to enlighten and inspire us all just by basking in your glow. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what, what you're doing in your life and with your business that's mm -hmm. green and supporting the planet. Um, well, th thank you for uh, <laughs> asking me. Yeah. Um, well, my family has been in this business for over 60 years. My grandfather launched mm -hmm. Organic Gardening Magazine in 1942. Mm -hmm. So I'm part of a continuation of a, a mission that has lasted for many generations. And that mm -hmm. the mission of our company is really about how we can um, inspire healthy living on a healthy planet. Mm -hmm. And so we publish Prevention Magazine, Men's Health, Women's mm -hmm. Health, Runner's mm -hmm. World. Books like The Inconvenient Truth mm -hmm. and um, South Beach Diet and, of course, mm -hmm. my own book, Organic Manifesto, mm -hmm. which came out earlier this year. So, uh, to me, the organic mission and uh, making sure that people understand the importance of organic to our future and our survival, really, mm -hmm. is is just who I am and, and what's so mm -hmm. important to me. Right. And when you talk about our survival, I like to think about one of the missions that I have in my life is hope, and that means healing our planet Earth. Yes. And we start by ourselves, yeah. by cleaning up our own inner toxicity, right. looking at what we shouldn't be putting in, looking at what we should be putting in, yeah. and not only doing it for our individual selves, but able to do it for other people who need help doing it on the planet, right? Exactly. And what I've learned in doing the research for my book is that it's when we heal the planet and we heal ourselves, um, the, the most important thing we can do is just not put those toxins in our environment in the first place. Mm -hmm. So there's more and more evidence that agricultural chemicals and pesticides um, cause everything from autism to obesity mm -hmm. to diabetes. To diabetes. Right. So, and we also have evidence from the Rodell Institute studies that organic um, chemical agriculture contributes to climate change. Mm -hmm. um, so there's all these hopeful things that we can do, mm -hmm. but people aren't quite making the connection mm -hmm. that just by the choices they make and what they buy and eat, they're mm -hmm. making a huge impact, mm -hmm. not just to their own bodies, but mm -hmm. to the whole world. And not only what they eat in terms of food, but also what we eat in terms of the, the things that we read for our minds, mm -hmm. and also the things we eat for our heart. Right. Like, are we feeding on a diet of resentment and revenge <laughs> and jealousy, or are we feeding on peace and love and tranquility and meditation for exactly. nourishment, things like that. Exactly, so. and that's why I think the fair trade movement is so important and why it's so compatible with organic because it's really about how uh, people, how we treat people mm -hmm. and you know, the, the fact that we should hold ourselves all to a very high standard mm -hmm. and, and um, cultivate that mm -hmm. um, morality mm -hmm. in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And more equality, that we know that the people mm -hmm. that, that we think are in third world countries, they're people too. Right. Their soul is a part of our soul. Right. And we want to treat them with dignity and respect and, right. and a value for value relationship that's sustainable. Yeah. Because if we just rape and pillage these people to do our work for us, that's not sustainable. They're going to poop out. Right. They're not going to have the energy and the stamina and the sustainability. Yeah. So, and they, you know, they love our, their children just as much as we love mm -hmm. our children. So it's, you know, it's really, um, you know, everything we do to them, we're doing to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I believe, you know, that we've heard that food is made with the energy of love. Mm -hmm. So the hands that are picking your food and packaging your food, you right. want those hands to be energy of love, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I call it for my own life. I call it, you know, the path of love. But mm -hmm. you know, if you do everything with love as your primary right. intent, right. then um, the universe mm -hmm. rewards that, mm -hmm. and is, yeah. everybody's happier mm -hmm. as, as a result. Mm -hmm. I like to contemplate things like that like you know if I'm if I if I try to go out into the world and fix the symptoms in the world that I need to go to the root of the problem and yes. love myself and then those those things will naturally spring for me. I'll, I'll naturally reach for foods that, that are healthy for right, me. Because right. if I hate myself, I'm going to reach for that Hagen dazs and <laughs> pick out on a carton of ice cream, right? But yeah. if I love myself, I'm going to think, hmm, mm -hmm. look at that fresh vegetable. That's going to make me feel good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's really also thinking about um, love for the long term. Mm -hmm. you know? 
being able to see that those choices that you make are going to impact you for years and years to come, mm -hmm. not just right now. Yeah. You know, you might feel better for the first minute after you something <laughs> gross, but then right. the next day you're not going to uh -huh. feel so I've, good. I've had that experience. So, yeah, we're looking for a sustainable, what I like to think is that this is all about getting your energy channel clean so that right. you can plug into that creative source yeah, and exactly. manifest what we're trying to manifest, our dreams and the things that the ideas. Hey everybody, this is Tamara Henry and Jennifer Mahoney and we just want to thank you so much for joining us tonight at Rouge Tomat. We learned so much about organic food, about fair trade, about buying local and if you want to see more, keep logging on to PositiveImpactMagazine.com and become a subscriber, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, thanks and keep making a positive impact. You want to sit on that side? Okay. okay. Alright, hold on. Of Rodale Inc. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this right on the first try. <laughs> well, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So do you. I love your green scarf there. Thank you. They call me green tea sometimes because I'm Tamara. Uh -huh. So they call me green tea. So. <laughs>